So the WBC has made Vasily Lemachenko their franchise lightweight champion and Devin Haney their lightweight champion. So what does that mean towards a potential Lemachenko Haney matchup? So before we get started, welcome to Sports Talk with Troy, where I may or may not be an expert, but I am a longtime fan with an informed and knowledgeable opinion. If you like I do here, please consider giving the channel subscribe and liking the video. Anyways, what does it mean for potential Lemonchenko Haney matchup? Well, it means JS and I'll leave you what, what JS means. I think it's going to be pretty clear what JS means. <clears throat> but the truth is, is that the promotional bodies and the television networks have more of a say on who fights who than the sanctioning bodies. Vasily Lomachenko is promoted by Top Rank and his fights are shown on the Top Rank affiliated networks mostly the ESPN networks and the ESPN Plus app. Whereas Devin Haney, you know, I know he's promoted himself, but I think he recently signed with Matchroom. His bouts are shown on the zone. And like I said before, the networks and the, and the promotional bodies have more of a say in who fights who than the promotional bodies. That being said, Bob Barron from Top Rank and Eddie Hearn of, the, of, I always say The Zone, but of Matchroom do have a good working relationship and they've made fights together before. But it's also well known that Lomachenko is going to be facing the winner of the Richard Comey Tofimo Lopez fight for the vacant IBF lightweight championship. I think Devin Haney has a tremendous amount of upside. But it's going to be a while before we see a Devin Haney Vasily Lomachenko matchup. First of all, the reason why WBC is in this franchise championship thing for Lomachenko and also for Canelo Alvarez is to make money because they can now charge more sanction fees. But as far as hanging in a fight with Lomachenko anytime soon, consider that, like I said before, he's going to be facing the winner of, of Come Lopez. And after that, I can imagine that. They'll have him fight Miguel Burchelt. And I can see him moving as long as he keeps winning Jamal Herring into a, a fight with Lomachenko. And then as long as uh, Jose Carlos Ramirez is still a champion at 140, I can see that fight happening. Like I said before, Aram and Hearn have a good working relationship, or at least when it exists. But, you know, there are other guys who may be in line before him. You know, Javante Davis, although that fight, be, him being with uh, PBC, may be hard to make. He's made more of a name for himself than, than Haney. And so does Ryan Garcia. I'm not saying that Davis and Ryan Garcia are better than Haney. I'm just saying that they've made more of a name for himself. And as far as crush promotional fights go, those fights may get made before Devin Haney. And I personally think that Haney might have the highest upside of, of those three guys. I'm just saying that the business of boxing works that it might be well before we see a Lomachenko Haney fight. And it may not be at 135 pounds. <clears throat> you know, Henny's pretty young. He's 20 years old, I believe. So he's gonna probably move up and wait sometime, sometime soon. I know everyone says that Lemonchenko make 130 still, and that's probably still true for now. But as he's older, I think it's become more difficult for me to go down and wait. <clears throat> so the Henny Lemonchenko fight that could happen, it could be a dream fight by the time it does happen might take place at 140. Look, never say never, but 
a limited continue fight is not happening anytime soon. Like I said, it's possible only because of the proven relationship between, again, Aram and Hearn. But Lomachenko has at least one fight lined up for him already, and Top Rank can give him some good fights down the road. Different network, different promotions. Again, all, all these extra belts do is allow these sanction bodies to collect more sanction fees. Again, the networks and the promotion bodies have a lot more say on who fights who than the sanctioning bodies. <clears throat> I think it's we'll see in the future. As long as they keep winning. Again, it might not happen at 135. And at 140, who knows, maybe Henny will have an advantage at that, at that weight. As much as he'll be a little older and a little, a little bigger. And he's, he's a relatively small guy. And I don't know if 140 is a, a weight limit too, too much for him. But we won't know until, until that happens. <clears throat> Anyways, that's just my take on, on the situation with the WBC naming Slimachenko franchise champion and Devin Haney, their, their champion at lightweight. What's your take? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as usual, as always, I may or may not be an expert, but I am a longtime fan with informed and knowledgeable opinion.